All right, we're standing up for this because it's about to get serious. All right, we poured ours. Look at that clarity. Oh, mm -hmm. man. You can almost see my nipples through there. Nobody's looking at your nipples, Chuck. They are now. It's Nate from Under the Table Brewing and Chuck from Politically Incorrect Brewing. And uh, this is our final beer in the 2020 Brewtubers Malt Experiment. Damn, see how short I am. It's okay. We're just, hey, it's okay. You can just sit down. Uh, no, don't. I'm not even that tall. Cliffhanger. We're just both, you know, little, just little dudes. All right, so we've got Vienna, and this Vienna is from Best Malls, which is a German maltster. Um, and it is incredibly malty. So let's get uh, appearance wise, you know, it's got a nice, nice little cap. Um, um, you know, if you pour it aggressively enough, you get a, you get a nice little head kinda. and you get pretty killer lacing. Well, I'm not even on screen. Look at there. Right. Uh, this, they do say you can do a 100% um, grain bill with this. It's per the maltster. Um, it was the most hateful grain bill ever. So I had some some mill issues that day. And I, no, it, it wasn't even mill. Oh no! I'm blaming the grain. No way. All right. Yeah, it was probably the grain. He was honestly like so Vienna, diamonds. <laughs> Vienna is a little bit of a harder husk, uh, at least from these guys, and um, it definitely proved to be a challenge <clears throat> milling. And so we we adjusted the mill in, adjusted the mill out. Did we and run it twice? Back and forth. So finally we just said, okay, let's open it up as far as we can, mill it, and then and then we ended up running it through twice because it was just so god awful. Um, we barely got a crush. There was like 60% were, were uncrushed. And then the second mill we actually got pretty good crush. So the efficiency was decent. Um, I think I said, um, I think I put like 4.9 on the bottle, but I just redid the, the math on this thing. We ended up with a 1056 and finished at 1012, and it ended up being like a 5.6% beer. So this is more in line with uh, the Cooper Brew, the Thrall Family Malt, and then Herman Brow was, what was his? Our macho, Five point, our macho man. Macho man. Herman Brow. <laughs> macho man Herman. Macho John man Herman, Herman Brow. <laughs> like it. His was 5.8, right? 5.78. So, yes, so we're kind of more in lines with the kind of some of some, some of the stronger ones. But uh, color-wise, it's pretty dark. I think we were one of the darker malts out of the whole experiment. When we did the OG, though, it like dropped out so just crystal clear. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, that, that oil, oil, that world. No, we didn't no. do oral flock. It was just the no. way that it chilled or something. It, yeah, the proteins just dropped out. It was it was pretty incredible. It was nice. So I, I figured that we'd end up with a, a fairly clear beer, and it did clear up pretty quick. So. Something to be said about the Vienna um, producing a nice, nice clear beer. As hateful it as it was to, to, to mill, mill yeah. uh, we got some aroma wise. Beer. It's it's got this nuttiness. It's like it's bready, um, super grainy. You smell it, and I, I, I <laughs> may, you snort some. Yeah, I did a little bit. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It happens, you know. Party time. Yeah. Last couple of videos is what been, you know, have been cooler temperatures. It smells good. At first, I was like, I don't know, but as it's, I mean, I've had it on the keg now for shit a month, and um, it's a heavy keg. It's, you know, I've been trying to keep people off of it because if I have guests over and they try it, they're like, oh, let me get another one of those. Let me get another one of those. Like, hey, time out. I got more beers. I got five taps. People, come on. And um, it's uh, it's it is good. It's it tastes like a commercial beer a little bit. I'm not gonna complain. I drink beer. What else do you think? You think it's like I don't know. I, I had somebody ask if it was an Oktoberfest. <clears throat> I think it kind of has a little bit of that. I don't know. I was about to say cheers and take a drink, but then I just was thirsty, so I took one. That happens. We're a couple videos in now. 
It's all downhill slope. It's still, the, the flavor follows the nose almost like perfect, in my opinion. It dries out nice. It leaves a little bit of a nutty aftertaste, but it's, it's like peanuts. It's got a peanutty kind of mm. thing going on to me. Am I allowed to be like openly honest? Yeah, do you think it sucks? No, I don't think no. it sucks. <laughs> Not at all. But there, in, in this malt experiment that we've done, I think there's other malts that I like better than this one. Oh, I'm with you 100%. I honestly, <clears throat> this is probably one of my least favorite malts as a single malt beer. And it's, it's not just the, the hatefulness of the milling. Mm -mm. It, it goes all the way to the, the beer. However, I would take some of this and put it into another beer as a as like an adjunct malt or a, you know a specialty malt because it's got such a cool character to it. I would totally put it in, and I have um, in with you know two row or or a pilsner or something like that. Just to contribute a little bit of, of character, you know, maybe even at like a quarter pound or a half pound in a malt bill for a five gallon batch, let's say. Well, Vienna is what I usually use for my citra pale ale. So you put it, you already use it in a pail. No. And I think, I think it's, it's nice in something like that where you're going to, you just want a little something, maybe a little, and it does, you know, it does add some color. So you're going to get some color out of it. Not a whole lot, but, um, you know, that's probably on the line with a, Crystal 10 or something. Yeah. My brother-in-law, which, you know, I, I named Donnie's Troublemaker mm -hmm. because he's my brother-in-law and, you know, makes him in trouble with my sister, which, you know, it's always a positive thing. And it's then, uh, you know, it, it's got Crystal 60 and then, you know, the Vienna in it. Mm -hmm. I like the Vienna. I just don't, to me, I, I would not, I would not brew this beer again. I would not do a full Vienna malt bill. Now, if I was doing a Vienna Lager, which Vienna Lager is not one of my favorite styles, <clears throat> I would feel that it was necessary to use Vienna malt. Um, but again, I probably wouldn't be brewing that beer. If I were to brew that beer, I would use Vienna, maybe a little bit of Munich, and um, let it rip. I don't know where else I would use this malt. I mean, because it's not—it's going to get buried in a stout or a porter. Um, the dark grains are going to overcome that, and you're not going to really pull any of the Vienna characteristics out of it. No, or I'm not going to use it as an entire grain bill ever again. Ever? No, we'll we'll never, never use it. I will never do a Vienna smash. No. And it's not because it's not good. It's because no, I'm just not fighting with the. Uh, no. Is that why you're going back to the mill? No, it's not I, happening. I wouldn't do it because I'm not a huge fan of just the Vienna. Now, it is a good beer, and to each their own, right? So like I said, I've got people that have come over here and, and just wanted more of this and really, really liked it. And um, this is, you know what I found? About three weeks ago, I had one. And then I had another one back to back, and I really enjoyed the second one more than the first one. So it might be one of those, I need a second one kind of beers to really start appreciating it and getting a, a love for it. See, I just can't do a full grain bill on this because I'm back to the, I mean, it's a good beer. I'm just not gonna go back to the, I'm gonna go back to the grain in because it's just, or the milling, it's gonna piss me off and I'm just gonna start, you know, I'm a veteran, I'm gonna start mm, knife handing everywhere. What if Kid. I what if I mill it for you, bring you the crushed grain? Well, I would probably brew it. Yep. See? That's what I thought. But I'm you know, a knife hand. If he knew that if I was struggling, he'd be over at his house. <laughs> knife hand. I don't I don't have the experience knife hand, but I think it's something like that. Point <laughs> point you. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Long walk, short beer. Yeah. I don't know. Sailors say that? And we do. <laughs> Sweet. Like, I'm not going to get old. I'm going to take a long walk off a short beer. Shark bait. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Ooh ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a kid's show. Kids, turn it off. All right, we're up to 10 minutes again. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And <laughs> 
checking out these malt reviews. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And uh, we're looking forward to the next one. Thanks again to Matt from Rec Brewery to, uh, for putting this together. And uh, thanks to Chuck for, for <laughs> we're helping, here. helping me out. And stay tuned for the bloopers reel. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. You better not edit it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. See, if it's edited, it's edited. It, well, we're going to edit up to this point. And then you can, okay, at this point, at this point of the program, you need to send the kids into the other room. Cheers. <laughs> Until next time, don't forget to home brew. Oh, cheers. Drink bear. You make Elder proud. Mmm. <laughs> and I love some Elder. Who don't? Kill <laughs> Alright, we gotta kill it. Might as well talk about your hemorrhoid, buddy. <laughs> what? Sylvester, See? <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is hanging in there like the last starfighter. You know, <laughs> oh God. You Lewis even... Gossett Jr. is going to show up to that door right now. You even named him. Uh, him, it's... like it's personified. <laughs> it is, it is. Sylvester Stallone, the last starfighter. Then Lewis Gossett Jr. is going to show up. Yeah. You can do it, kid. You, you can, can do, do it. it. You got this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You gotta sure leave not, that in there. Are you sure it's not a female hemorrhoid? No, it's not a female. <laughs> She'd have left already. She'd have quit. <laughs> Knowing that you're Those a man, we're stubborn <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Coming in with a knife hands, Lewis Gossett Jr., Sylvester Stallone. This is immediately a man's movie. You just. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Over and up. We're done. <laughs> All right, everybody. <sighs> All right, we so got froggy. get yourself some Vienna malt from Best Malts. <laughs> Just don't try to mill it. No, <laughs> let your neighbor do it. <laughs> Something's got a longer. Oh, somebody's Jesus. got a longer attention span. Oh, give it the Italian. See how he he patience. How he mills it. <laughs> get his wet saw out. <laughs> Cut each grain in half. I found the perfect technique. I'm sorry. We're gonna cut that out too. Hey, you gotta leave that. Nope. <laughs> That's been 48 weeks. We are milling, running 12 minutes. <laughs> milling this These grain. people are still hanging out. No, they're not even watching this. Yet. Oh, we're editing it that bad. Huh? Yeah, hold on. I'm chopping this thing to the smithereens. <laughs> this is no fun anymore. You gotta. Oh like, my god, it used yeah. to be funny. You, you gotta put it on like, you know, blooper scenes or whatever. The blooper reel? Yeah. Oh. Yes, the blooper reel. Yeah. We should, I could probably cut some of the stuff. No, the leave it going. All right. Everybody, thank you for watching our series Look, of homebrew. Re so he, he made a cut, if you haven't noticed yet. He made a cut. <laughs> There's a, like an end, and then, you know, welcome to, you know, bye, homebrew. You know, right, let's start, start the extra ex <laughs> exit again. <laughs> cut. <laughs> Knife hand. We learned something in <laughs> this video. We learned something today. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, appreciate your patience. <laughs> We're going with patience? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Instantly, I like a teacher in kindergarten. Is. Herd the cats! Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, <laughs> we, need a, we need a lasso and a whip. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And, it a, bowl of, and a bowl of je jelly dicks. I hope your kids were not here today. <laughs> We're doing a lot of explaining after the fact. And, well, uh, children, I'm not a teacher, therefore you can go teach that. And my words <laughs> are my words. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and ch checking out these malt reviews.